Okay, now we're going to start talking about fish growth. Uh, fish growth is one of the three dynamic rate functions that govern a fish population. Uh, the three dynamic rate functions are uh, recruitment, growth, and mortality. Recruitment is births. Um, we talk about fish uh, when they're born, uh, they're recruited uh, to the population. Um, in fisheries, we also have a different meaning for recruitment. We talk about when fish uh, recruit to the fishery or recruit to the gear. So say you've got a 15 inch minimum length limit and when that fish gets to be 15 inches then it recruits to the fishery. Um, and then growth is growth and mortality is mortality. Uh, so if you can measure these three rates then you can understand your population. Obviously if you know how many fish are produced, how fast the fish grow, how fast the fish die, you can figure out a lot about your fish population. And specifically you can calculate how much biomass or how many fish you can remove from the population and they'll get replaced. So those are three very important things to understand when you're looking at a fish population. <laughs>
uh, the size of the fish has uh, affects everything. It affects uh, their health. It affects you know whether or not they'll be prey. It affects what what they can eat. You know, bigger fish can eat more things. Um, it affects their reproduction. So that's why we really spend a lot of time measuring fish growth. Uh, there are a couple different ways we can look at growth. The first we're going to talk about is just basically their growth pattern, their growth over time. As a fish ages, how does it grow? And of course, you know, fish get longer as they get older. And then um, once they get uh, closer to their ultimate length, their growth slows down and then eventually the growth stops and they won't grow anymore even if they have uh, plenty of food once uh, you get the fish gets old enough. Um, now if you look at a graph of length versus fish age you'll see that it's got a steep slope and then it levels off. It's curvilinear. Um, and there are many different ways that you can describe or model that growth but um, the most common one is called the Von Berlanthe growth curve and this is a, a growth model that was developed a long time ago and um, basically it's just a, a way to mathematically represent the growth of a fish so if you look at the length of a fish versus its age if you look at that plot there's a curve to that and the Von Bertalanffy growth curve is just a, a way to help you draw that curve. That's all it is. And if you have that equation then, then you can do some predictions. So if I fit a Von Bertalanffy growth curve to some data points, well then I can make predictions. Then you can give me an age and I'll tell you my best guess at how big the fish is going to be. And that's very useful for uh, understanding your fish population um, because you can look at the, the parameters of that equation. You can compare those among populations to kind of see which ones are growing faster. You can look at the parameters of that equation and it's going to tell you do they seem to grow very fast and then level off early or does the growth seem to be slower and more steady. Um, but also you can model and so you can make some predictions about what the fishery is going to do in the future based upon this growth curve. And um, now there are many different ways you can fit a curve. Um, the von Bernalanthe is not the only one. It's just the most common one that we use in fisheries. Um, this is not an easy thing to solve for. It's not like linear regression. You can't just draw a line and look for the y-intercept and the slope. Um, because it's curvilinear, you need to uh, have the computer help you solve this this growth equation. And we'll do that later in one of our assignments. Um, then the other thing um, that you're looking at with the von Bertalanffy growth equation is not only the length at each age, but you can modify it so you also can see the weight at each age. And for the same reasons, that you just want to know uh, if you want to predict biomass or if you want to model biomass. So at any rate, that's the first relationship that we're going to look at, which is how do fish grow over their life? And how do we fit curves to that growth pattern? Um, and that's the first part of fish growth. And I'll talk to you um, later about some other ways that we can look at fish growth. See ya.